Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my Mary Kondo inspired folding um, video. Probably sounds really boring, but it's such a good way to just change like the way you store your clothes. Because let's face it, we've all got clothes and I am going to show you how I'm going to do my son's bedroom. So I will show you how I fold them and what it looked like before and what a mess it is. If you want to see how I fold my children's clothes the Mary Kondo way, then keep watching. I've also um, done how you fold baby clothes as well the Mary Kondo way. So if you want to know how to do that, then come and have a look. This is what Jensen's drawers look like before. As you can see, a complete and utter mess. Nothing really fit very well. So after using the Mary Kondo folding method, this is what they look like now. This is actually stuff that was in like three drawers all now fits into one drawer, which I genuinely can't believe. His clothes are so much more presentable. So if you want to see how to do this, then keep watching. Before I do anything else, I always sort through all of the clothes and get rid of the stuff that the boys don't wear anymore or that doesn't fit and then arrange into piles. So now I'm going to show you how I fold all of my clothes inspired by the Mary Kondo method. To fold this long sleeve top inspired by the Mary Kondo method, I am going to fold the sleeves in like so. fold into a third. Mary Kondo also says that to start with you should actually like feel through the clothes and show the clothes love and respect. So I'm going to do that and then going to fold up just before the top so you leave a little gap like so and then fold over. In the words of Mary Kondo, a perfectly folded item should always stand up. So there we go. That is how you fold a long sleeve top. Moving on to trousers. Trousers are pretty simple really. So Mary Kondo says you need to feel the clothes with the palms of your hand and communicate your affection through this and always keep this in mind when folding the clothes. So to fold trousers, you're just going to tuck in um, the crotch so it is a straight line. You're then going to fold bottom to top, leaving a little gap at the top like that. I'll just show you there, leaving a gap like that at the top. Then folding over like so and then they stand up. If your drawers aren't very deep, these are denim actually, so I'm not sure you could do it like that and that make them a little bit smaller, but my drawers are quite deep, so yeah, you know what I mean. I think I prefer it like that for those. So that is how we'll stand up. <laughs> that is how you do trousers. These are jeans, so I'm going to do some other trousers as well that aren't um, denim. Here are some softer fabric trousers, so feeling through with your palms. Um, there isn't actually a crotch in these, so I'm just going to fold up, leaving a gap there. Um, fold once and fold twice. And there we go, there are the soft trousers. I'm just going to do the top that goes with that quickly. I've already shown you how to fold a top like this. So just to recap, going over like so. In to thirds. Coming back up, leaving a little gap at the top. And then folding like so. To do a t-shirt, this is my son's minion t-shirt, no judging here please people. <laughs> um, it's a pyjama t-shirt so I'm just going to smooth it out, remember showing your affection through your palms. Folding in to thirds like so, including the sleeves. you could probably pull that one in a little bit more like that 
folding up leaving your little gap at the top folding once and folding twice and that is how you fold t-shirts moving on to baby specific items so this is a bodysuit i'm just gonna do the poppers up so to do a bodysuit kind of similar to a t-shirt really so smooth it through with the palms of your hand fold in to thirds like so folding up to the top leaving your little gap folding once and folding twice and there is your perfectly folded baby bodysuit fold a baby sleep suit the first thing i will do is tuck in the arms like so and then going to bring the legs up like that so they reach the top fold then in half folding to the top leaving a tiny gap and then folding again like so i have folded up all of my oldest son's tops and trousers and they all fit into one drawer and I still have all this area here before they were just all sprawled in this drawer and then sprawled in the drawer below I'll actually insert some pictures now so you can see what the drawers were like before so here's the top drawer now and here's what it was like before I have got rid of a few little bits but not loads especially not loads of trousers that were in here so um it's actually fit so well and i'm so impressed with this folding method i'm now going to do all of the rest i'm going to move on to my son's pajamas now and i'm hoping they're going to fit in another drawer this is my son's pajama drawer before it was just sprawled all over the place and in well in just one massive drawer and now i'll fit it into a little drawer which i am just so pleased with i am obsessed with this new folding method I actually did this drawer yesterday and going back I've realised I've done it wrong. I haven't folded them in half so can you see they're so long but there if I fold them in half there they are long down there I can fit double in so I'm just going to go back through and refold them all and put them all back in. So the mistake I made was just leaving it like that and then folding up but you need to make sure that you fold in half like that and then roll up. So I have done all of these properly. Those are still not folded properly, but I need to fix those. So you can see that I can still fit more in there. And there you have how I fold and arrange my children's clothes. I hope you took something from it and maybe you guys can do it. If you do, please leave me a comment below. You will have so much more room. Your space will just be so much more organized. I am absolutely loving having all the boys' clothes organized this way. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.